welcome back to my channel. I'm Cynthia Kensington and I'm a mind and body coach. Today I'm going to be taking you through a series of Pilates exercises to help you challenge your powerhouse. All you need is a can-do attitude and yourself of course. If you guys are ready, let's go straight into the exercises. I'm going to shuffle myself to the front of my mat. Okay, your toes, all 10 toes, are gripping onto your mat like so. Hand comes in front of you, palms facing each other. Attempt to imprint your spine down, but pull your navel in, away from your top, and lift it back up. Just warming the abdominals, take it down, and lift it up. Take it down, pull your navel in and away, and lift it up. Feel free to slide your heels closer to your bum. And lift it up and down and up give me four and up shoulders away from your ears and two more here and last one take it back lift it up okay place your hands on your mat so your palms are facing the ground Check it with yourself here. So here, if your abdominals are here, I'm going to pull it in, away. Push your breastbone forward. Lift the right leg up to tabletop. Straighten it out and reach and in. But don't collapse the chest and keep the connection in your abdominals. And reach. And three and two, conscious movement here. So there is no rush. You wanna make sure you're working the right muscles, right? And in. Okay, straighten the leg, lift it to the ceiling, throw it away as much as you can, and lift it up, and down. Reach, 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 point in the toes, and lift. Down. Adjust that leg, that left leg if you wish, I need it to be mine. And give me three more. Active. And two. And one. Okay, now you're going to pulse. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and last one. Bend that leg, place it down. Okay, now you have the left leg up, right? And then you're going to straighten and bring it in. Straighten it and in. And breathe. And give me three more. And two. Last one. Okay, now straighten the leg out and lift down. Point, take the heel down as much as you can and lift and straighten. So you're feeling from here as you lift as well. Lengthen the body and let it go. Lift down. Lift. Don't drop that chest. I know the challenge comes as well. Core engaged, sinking in, in. And lift. Give me three and two and last one and then you're going to pulse here. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one. Bend the knee, place it down, release your elbows and just walk your hands take the upper body down okay hand goes behind your head use your hands to pull the back of your neck okay sink your abdominals in lift your head and chest off the ground and down connect melt the lower back down onto the ground your elbows you only want to see the elbows with the color of your eyes as you lift so make sure the elbows are not in front, they're wide. 
forcing your midsection to do the work. Down. And lift it up for me. And take it down. And breathe and lift. Down. And two more. And this is the last one. And take it down. Okay, release your hands, hands come in front of you, palms connected, right leg to tabletop, and then the left leg comes to tabletop. You're going to do one as one unit, so you reach out, hand goes, bring the knee to connect the elbow, and hand goes, excuse me, and bring it in, squeeze, reach and lengthen the body like so, and bring it in, three. And together, you can take your head down, if you wish, and connect, and reach again, and connect, and reach, and bring it together, slowly, no rush. Like I always say, you need to recruit the right muscles to help you. So as you're reaching the legs, you don't want your lower back to lift off the ground. So you keep pulling your navel in and that just was, that's what helps there. And together, one more and you're going to hold. Head lifted off the ground. Hold, hold, hold. Bring it in together and hug the knees to chest. Circle the knee out for me. Okay. Okay, both legs go to tabletop, straighten the left leg out here for me as much as you can. Lift the head and chest, inhale, and as you exhale, you swap the legs there and reach. Come up to meet the leg and don't let the leg come to meet you. So you are going to attempt as much as you can to take your shoulder blades off the ground. And this is very beginner friendly, this class. But if you find that this is a challenge for you, what you can do is keep the legs going, but take your hands to support your head and reach and breathe. And three and two and last one. Knee comes to tabletop. Place your head and chest down. Place the right leg down and place the left leg down. Hand comes to the sides of the body. Inhale, pull the navel in here. Melt the lower back as you exhale, curl the pelvis to the ceiling. Keep this spin nicely tamed, core is engaged. Okay, and lift up here. Hold it and breathe. Two big inhales in and out. One more and out. Okay, so whilst you're here, place your hands, you take the bottom down of course, hand comes here. Float the right leg to tabletop and then float the left leg. You are aiming to take that right leg to the front of your mat without losing the connection in your abdominals, without losing the connection in your lower back. And take it down. And tap. And alternate the legs. And tap. And tap. And give me three. And two. Tuck your chin in. And one. Both legs to tabletop now. Straighten the leg out, both of them at the same time. Bring your back in. And reach. And in. And breathe. And two more. And the last one. Hold. Hold. It's okay if you're shaking. I'm also shaking with you. <laughs> Hug the knees to chest. 
So I couldn't need out here for me. Okay. Just take a few breaths here. Catch your breath. Take a sip of water in case you have one next to you. I forgot to bring mine, so we have to just ride it out. <laughs> okay. Now straighten the left leg. Right, all both hands goes overhead. Now lift the head and chest off the ground, and you're going to pulse here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, and 2, and 1. Float the hands back, keep the head and chest off the ground, then place it down. Hug the knee to chest. Place that leg down or swap it over really quickly. Left leg comes to tabletop, point both toes because even if you're working your abdominals, you still really want to feel like you're lengthening the body as well. Okay, float your hands overhead, lift the head and chest off the ground and go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Hug the knees to chest, place the head and chest down. Catch your breath. Okay. Place both feet down on the ground for me. Straighten them out. Float your hands overhead. Hold on to your right wrist, left wrist, go from side to side. Releasing tightness, compression in your abdominals. Maybe give your belly a little massage if you wish. And just breathe. Okay. Hand goes overhead. On your toes. Inhale, lift head and chest. Because we've been working abdominals, you can hold on to your thighs or release very quickly. And you're going to come up to a nicely seated position. You can use your hands to guide you here. So lift the right leg up, down, left leg. Okay, right. Again, pull your navel in, down. You can always add this to your workout. Or if you feel like, you know, you just want to work on core, work on your abdominals, your powerhouse, then feel free to go with this exercise. Shoulders back, lift, down, lift, down, lift, down. Give me three more, one on each side, of course. That's one, and that's two. Last one, and that's three. Okay, hands come down. Straighten both legs out, roll the spine, and place it down. Hand goes overhead, slide the right heel in, slide the left heel in. Okay, inhale, melt your lower back, exhale, curl up to the ceiling. And this is a nice stretch, I always find that this helps with my midsection. So just hold it here, feel free to slide your heels or float your hips completely without flaring up the ribcage. And stay here for me for a few seconds. Okay, now take it down. Breathe, float your hands to the sides of your body. Right leg comes to the tabletop. Left leg comes to tabletop. Lift your head and chest off. Place your hands in front of you again. Elbows connect. And go forward, reach. And bring it in to connect. If you can, of course, reach. And bring it in. And reach. And in. Reach. And in, two more, and last one, reach, and then you're going to hold, hold, 
You can bring your hands up if that works for you. And then hug the knees to chest. Okay. Good, good. Rock back and forth. Rock, rock, rock. All right, now you're going to find your momentum. So pull the knee in, tuck your chin. One. It didn't work out. Two. <laughs> it didn't work out. Last one. Bring it up and come to a seated position. Okay. Thank you, thank you guys for joining me. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Whatever you do, make sure you have an amazing day and I'll see you guys on the mat soon again.